Women's History Month is Ada Monzon. We appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you so much, Adam. It's, uh, you know, I'm so pleased and so happy to inspire more women, especially in this month. You are a fellow meteorologist, but also the first female meteorologist in Puerto Rico. What made you want to create this path? You know, um, as I was a little kid, I used to love clouds. I, I love the fact that I could explore and I loved science and mathematics. And I used to tell my mother that I wanted to be a meteorologist because there was one book in my house in the science library that my aunt, who was a science teacher, had. It was all about weather. So I knew about instruments. I knew about classification of clouds. And I was in love with meteorology. So I knew that I had to go to the States in order to get a degree. But my family, you know, we had limited resources. So that was not an option. And my mother said, you know, you should stay in Puerto Rico, study math and physics, which will prepare you for going into meteorology eventually. In the meantime, why don't you volunteer to the National Weather Service office so that you, you know, make the right decision if this is the kind of career that you want. And it's because of my mother that I actually went into meteorology and made the right choices. Very wise words from mom. It always seems to be the case. Now, Puerto Rico, a small territory, but frequently you get very extreme weather. How do you see your role in keeping Puerto Ricans safe? Oh, that is such an important question because, you know, when we were hit by Hurricane Maria uh, in 2017, and as I was forecasting, there is a point that you are scared. As a meteorologist, you are scared because you know what is coming. So, you know, I, I remember just sitting down in my car and saying, listen, for 30 years, you have been prepared you have been preparing for this moment. This is the moment that you save lives. You have to talk to yourself. You have to convince yourself that you are in that position, that you will be the meteorologist, but also the person that is going to guide everyone through the worst historic event of the island. And believe me, I took that responsibility deep in my heart. And no doubt that your work definitely saved lives. You're also the founder and president of Eco Exploratorio, the Science Museum of Puerto Rico. What part of the museum's mission are you most proud of? I am proud of building resilience through STEM education, through science, technology, engineering, and math. My main purpose, and I see myself not only forecasting, but now is part of the STEM education so that people understand what climate change is, what resilience is. And I think that the museum is establishing itself, itself as a leader of STEM education and resilience education. And we're gonna need those meteorologists as the climate continues to change and we're gonna need all hands on deck. Well, there's no doubt that you have led the way for so many and will continue to do so in the years to come. Meteorologist Adam Manzone, thank you so much for being here and, and thank you for everything. Thank you for this invitation.